hey guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here hi my name is Cassandra and welcome back to my channel so today's video i'm gonna show you like a little mini walmart grocery haul and i'm just gonna show you what we we what me and my fiance bought today i can't even talk today what we bought today at walmart from oxford so yeah i'm gonna show you i'm gonna put you guys right here hopefully you guys can see me so we got this butter today. We got this butter that comes with the crown. That's the name of the butter we use. Sometimes we use this butter, sometimes we use the country butter one. Yeah, so we got that. My nose is like urchy. It was raining this morning, like pouring. And then we got this Yeah, sorry about that. And then we also got this. The strawberry kind, because I like it. So I got this as well. And then we went to do laundry first in the morning. And then I bought breakfast and all that good stuff. So yeah, now bring it to the dining Dining area, so I can show you guys better. Sorry about that. You guys see me? Yeah. And I got the salad in case I get hungry later on or for work. Yeah, I probably will take it for work for my last break or so. So I got this. Caesar salad with chicken and the little croutons and cheese in the Caesar dressing. I got that. And then I got lemons because I like um, lime. Correction, lime. So I can make my tea because I like using lime juice on my tea and honey. And I like making my tea. Which tonight I probably will have some tea because it's been a long time I don't have tea. So, yeah. And it smells so good. They're organic limes. And they're so cute. And then I got this because I had to buy avocado. So I gave them a guacamole mild seasoning mix. So I can make avocado. And then we got two of these potatoes. These cute little small potatoes. We got two of these to make dinner today. Look how tiny they are. We probably will use one bag. Like, well, I use two bags for. And then peaches. Well, plums. And then oregano leaves. And then these strawberries. It's so good. I love strawberries. It's especially making like fruit salad. I love it. I need to wash my strawberries. Like I need to wash them. And then I'm not drinking no more like regular milk because regular milk makes my tummy feel discomfort and makes me go to the restroom a lot and I get like really stomach aches like really really bad stomach aches I don't know if the regular milk is making me like lactose now and you know all that fun stuff but I can't drink regular milk anymore so yeah I can't drink regular milk it really gives me like bad stomach aches like really bad ones and it's not great so i've been using this skim skill almond milk and it's 30 calories which is good 30 calories per serving and it's unsweetened but it tastes really good especially on your cereal it tastes really good so it's this right here and then i got hamburger helper it comes twin packs and it's the cheeseburger macaroni in case i, I want to make pasta there we go something quick and easy 
and then heavy um heavy whipped cream because my fiance want to try to make chicken alfredo from scratch you know the sauce so he got that and then crab delights so i can make him that with mayo so i got that he likes that i don't like this i'm not a fan of any sushi or crab or shrimp or anything like that and then he got star first all pink because we like the pink flavor better so we got this got your fiance. that you like this so much yeah and then jello the jello and then we got the, the orange one and the strawberry one can you put them there mm -hmm. yeah. and then i got myself a hair dye because i'm gonna dye my hair again because my hair dye from the last time that i color is fading away so i'm gonna dye redye it again before the wedding so yeah, this one is um, the cinnamon brown one, and she was only six forty. So I got that today. I did not get Italian season. Do you got Italian season? Oh, okay. I didn't even know he got Italian seasoning, but he got Italian seasoning. And then I got a charger because I'm using a small, you know, the Apple charger that comes on the phone. I'm using that because my long cord from a charger that I bought from the yellow store like a, like a couple blocks from where we live and we, it's called the Arabic store aka New York Deli but this is not New York it's Massachusetts <laughs> but people call it the yellow store because the, the store is yellow from the outside so yeah and I guess the charger was like sort of cheap and it wasn't like good like it was working and everything fine like everything was charging completely fine and to the day that i woke up my fiance's phone was charging all the way complete and mine was not charging at all yeah what i could have said and i had to use my brother's charger thankfully he let me use it until before i go to work so i got myself a 10 feet lightning to charge my phone so I got it black. There was white, but I didn't want a white, so I choose the black one. And it's for iPhone, iPad, and iPod. And then I got these to put in the in my my friends and my cousins' little bag for Easter. So I got that for them. And then I got this because I'm making the crochage for my girls for my wedding. And then these buttons. And yeah, there's two more months into the wedding, guys. Like, wow. Two more months. How you feel about that, babe? Awesome. <laughs> two more months. And um, I'm a little nervous, but not that nervous. Like, not like completely nervous. Hey, a backup one, right? Why not? See if it's raining, so I can fix that door in the radio. So, I'm just picking the back from the floor if you're wondering. So, like I said, I'm not nervous. Like, nervous, nervous, nervous. I'm not that nervous. I'm just like a little nervous, but not like too nervous, if that makes sense. You know, like I'm a little nervous, but not too nervous. But also really happy. And I'm going to show you like pure wedding-ish thing. Not a pure wedding-ish thing. I'm, I started making like a bag already. Like even though it's like two more months into the wedding. But I started kind of like making a bag. This is not the bag. I just put it in here because I need a more nicer bag. For all this, but I started putting like my strapless bra. Remember the strapless bra that I bought last time in Walmart? So I started putting that in the bag. So my strapless bra.
And then this is a faja, which is a shapewear. It tucks everything in. If you don't know what it is, it's a shapewear. It puts everything, it sucks everything in. Yeah, but in Spanish, in Spanish, it's a faja. And then my necklace that I got yesterday. So I started putting some stuff together. I still need to like find more things in the closet to put in there, like my crown and the flower goes fake flower. So yeah, I need to go through that closet and look at everything in there. So yeah, wow. Wow, yesterday that? I got a little comment on one of my videos that I was showing like bra and underwear and a person wrote like, I searched the meaning of it and it means like throwing up. So like that person, if you're watching this, if you're going to watch this video, like whenever I post this, um, stop commenting hurtful things. And if you don't want to watch my videos, no offense, don't watch them. Because in my videos, if I want to show underwears and bra, I'll show them. There's nothing to be embarrassed about. Every YouTuber does them. They show what they got in the stores. So if you got a problem with it, don't watch my video. I'm not going to mention names because it's wrong of me mentioning names. But if you're going to watch this soon, don't be commenting nothing because I turned the comments off. Because of you. If you don't have nothing to say nice, then don't comment it at all. Well, babe, I'm gonna go, uh, because I'm I'm gonna I'm not person that I don't stay shut and I'm not gonna stay shut to no one. Because I'm done on staying shut to people. I'm done. If you don't have nothing to say, keep your comments to yourself. No, it's it's true. Like this is enough. Enough is enough. I make this video for my other subscribers to see them, and one person is gonna be commenting like the me the I search the meaning of it and it says vomiting, and WTF. Like if you're gonna be commenting things like that, keep your comments to yourself, honey. Keep your comments to yourself. Come on, hurry up! I'm gonna go to the Because my videos, I make them. For fun and entertain people. That's what I do. I don't do YouTube for money. I don't do it for money. I do it to entertain people because I want other people who are, who you know, who's young at me, who's young like me or more younger to get over their shyness and to get that, you know, that stage of being shy like I was. I don't do it to make money. Or because I want money out of this. I do it to get to help all these young folks out there like me. Like I was once that was quiet and didn't talk to no one besides my friends. And one person is be commenting rude things. Like, honey, keep the comments to yourself. Right. Okay? Because, like, hey, enough is enough. Like, I'm sorry that I had to open up this at the end of the video, but I just had to put that out there because it literally frustrates me. It literally frustrates me that one person is being rude instead of just keeping him or her comments to herself. Like, enough is enough. Okay, babe. No, for real. Like, I needed to get that out there. Like, enough is enough. Stop bringing other people's down to make yourself feel better, honey. Well, newsflash, honey. I don't stay shut to you. No, it's the truth. Like, I know other people here will... I know other people here will agree with me on that situation. And I just wanted to address that, that I didn't like that person's comments. So next time you're commenting on somebody else, keep your comments to yourself before... Before writing it down, honey. Okay? And learn how to respect older people. If you're older, okay, respect the younger people. If you want respect, you're going to get respect. That's how you earn respect, honey. Okay? And for the other people that are watching my channel, thank you. I really appreciate that. That means a lot for me that you're watching my channel. And for that certain someone who wrote that,
Bye-bye. There's the exit door. Bye-bye. Don't watch my channel. Peace. Nobody's going to miss you. Bye. But for the other people, thank you for watching my channel. And thank you for keeping up with me. And for always writing so kind things to me. So, thank you. I'm sorry that I got, <laughs> got that out of my chest. Because I needed to get that out of my chest. Because literally, it was making me mad. And the fact that that person always ruins something for the other person. Like, no, honey. I'm a YouTuber. I've been a YouTuber since 2019, I think it was, that I made my first video. And there's certain someone writing things like that. Like, no, honey. You think I'm not going to clap back? Yes, I am. <sighs> Just needed to get that out of my chest. And seeing that two more months into the wedding, and I'm excited. All we need is the limo, the DJ, and some probably like some other things as well. So I'll see you guys in the next weekend. Um, there's no comments, so I turn off the comments. So I'm sorry if the other people was gonna write other sweet things to me. I'm very sorry, but I turned the comments into further notice. Um, yeah, I'll keep making videos. I'm not going to let one person ruin it for everybody. Like, no. And, yeah. And have a nice day. Enjoy yourself. Yes, it's rainy out here where I live. It's raining. It's really yucky. Um, I'll see you guys with, with a brand new video. Um, maybe it will be, like, related, wedding related, um, or anything like that. I'll let you guys I'll bring you guys with me. And thank you for watching my channel like always. And love you guys.